A year ago in Glasgow, Vanessa Nakate, a Ugandan climate activist, stood on a stage like this and said that young people around the world do not believe in the promises being made by world leaders at every COP. But she begged you to prove us wrong. It's a year later and hundreds of new oil and gas leases have been released by some of the richest nations on the planet. There is still not a single country that has a climate commitment compatible with 1.5. Meanwhile, over 7 million people are dying prematurely every single year from breathing toxic air from the burning of fossil fuels. If the world took the action to meet WHO air quality guidelines, we would save millions of lives, eight trillion dollars, and drive real climate action. But what do leaders do? They keep greenwashing. They keep making excuses for not taking action. They keep lying. So I have one question for the government and business leaders at COP27. What language do we need to translate the climate data into for you to take action? Because if you did have the information and you were only pretending to take action, that would be unforgivable. Or in the words of Secretary General Guterres, that would be lying.